Well, I came home one evening to see my house in disarray, and uh, it was very traumatic. In an exclusive interview with us, Congresswoman Karen Bass talks about two guns being stolen from her home. They were registered, they were locked in a safe box, and they were stashed away in a closet. Earlier this week, police released this photo of a suspect. Now, they have two suspects under arrest. You have any idea why somebody would do this, who these people are? I have no idea. I mean, do you feel like you were, you were targeted? Because it's weird that they would just take the guns and not anything else, but right? But you know, Angelinos all around the city are not feeling safe. And I did feel safe until my safety was shattered. During a mayoral debate in the spring, I asked Bass to rate her personal safety on a scale of one to 10, with 10 feeling the most safe. Congresswoman, do you feel safe walking in? I do feel safe, I would say a 10. I feel safe, but I do understand that a lot of people around the city do not feel safe. You're saying now your my view on that has changed. My safety was shattered. Yeah. Uh, and how does that make you think differently about potentially being mayor or about the issue of public safety? Well, I don't know that it makes me think any different because I thought from the beginning that the number one job of the mayor is to make sure that Angelinos are safe. Over the years, Bass has supported bills to get illegal guns off the streets. There were a lot of people that were surprised that you had guns. Um, what kind of guns did you have and what's your relationship been like with guns over the years? <laughs> well, I had guns for personal safety as do many people. and. Uh, uh, I think that gun control is extremely important, but I have never believed that people, if they wanted to have guns, should not have them. Earlier this week, we spoke with Bass's opponent in the mayor's race, Rick Caruso. She should answer the question, did she have them adequately protected pursuant to the law? My guns were registered. They were stored properly in a safe box. That's my response.